Thank you. Uh, the Governor of the Reserve Bank of Fiji, Mr. Arif Fali, organizers of the Mari 7, participating teams and officials, rugby fans, ladies and gentlemen, Bula Vinaka and a very good evening to you all. I know you are all excited to see the Mari 7's final, but I'm going to ask you to put up with me for a couple of minutes because I have a very important announcement to make. Please allow me to uh, take us back in time, eight months, to July of last year. Fiji was in the midst of the second wave of COVID-19. Infection rates were running at over 1,000 per day, and the daily COVID-related deaths were in double digits. It was a terrible time. The borders were closed, containment zones were in place, and thousands of Fijians had lost their jobs. But something truly wonderful happened. Our Fiji seventh men and ladies team who had sacrificed and prepared diligently for months lifted our hearts and our spirit by winning the rugby sevens gold and bronze medals at the tokyo olympics it was wonderful it was uh, exhilarating it was joyous and of course it was uh, was not really surprising because our fijian team went to tokyo to win to show the world that it is our sport our fijian uh, fijian and rua are showing that right now in uh, Super women com competition and our men's drua are showing that Fijian play super rugby as well as we play sevens and even better when we can play on a Fijian team. But who will ever forget our Fijian teams played with passion, determination, courage and unity. They knew they were carrying the hopes and aspirations of an entire nation on their backs. Uh, that is a lot of pressure, especially after the gold medal we won in Rio. But uh, they stayed focused on their game, and that is a sign of a true champion. Uh, I think you all know that my government has given cash rewards to the members of both teams and their coaches and other officials, but today we are doing more. Today I'm extremely proud to show our Olympic heroes just how much pride their grateful nation takes in their win. They will be immortalized on our national currency. Today, we are unveiling a new $7 banknote to commemorate our win in sevens. It pictures the men's team on one side, and of course, the, the women's team on the other. The men's side is a gold color, and the women's side is a bronze color. And uh, as you know, this is our second dollar note. You may recall that we printed one after our win in Rio. And I sincerely hope that we will print a new seven dollar note every four years. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this commemorative banknote will be legal tender and will be issued into circulation this coming Monday, the 28th of March. The Reserve Bank of Fiji has produced enough of the banknotes to ensure that every Fijian will be able to get them. But the production is, of course, limited. That is because this note is intended to be commemorative, which gives it some extra value as a collector's item, both here and abroad. There are a lot of uh, people around the world who collect Fijian currency, so I expect that uh, we'll be seeing some serious international demand. And special collector sets will be available through, of course, the Reserve Bank beginning next week. I want to thank the Reserve Bank of Fiji and the people who uh, uh, print our currency, Obita Fiduciary, and of course, the Fijian Rugby Union for collaborating on this production. I also want to thank, of course, the organizers of the Mari 7 uh, for allowing us to introduce our new banknote here today. It is now my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, and my distinct honor to officially unveil the latest addition to Fiji's beautiful currency, our $7 banknote honoring our wins at the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games, the ladies' uh, bronze uh, medal win, and our men, of course, our men's second consecutive Olympic gold medal win. Thank you, and God bless you all.